Hi friends, welcome to my channel, the Cloud Security Guy. This is Tamur. In case you're new here, I talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, AI, and general cyber security career advice. So today is a, like a different video in which I want to talk about the UK Global Talent Visa and why you should apply for the UK Global Talent Visa in 2023 and why I what are the benefits of getting this visa. Uh, apart from cyber security, AI, cloud security, this is something I always try to tell people about because I think there's not enough awareness about this visa and it's a very good option for people who are in cybersecurity or technology in general. Before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. That will really help the channel to grow. If you think this video is useful, please do share it with somebody and so they might benefit from it. So uh, let's get started, guys. About me, my name is Taimur Ijlal, that good looking person on the screen you see there, that's me. Yeah, and just a brief background about me. I was awarded the UK Global Talent Visa in 2021 and I moved to the UK. I'm currently working with Amazon Web Services uh, as a cloud security consultant. And uh, so I just wanted to show you this because uh, I wanted you to know that I do have this visa, so I do know what I'm talking about. I'm going to link uh, the video for this uh, on somewhere here. You can click on it. So I, was, I got the visa through working with someone called Michelle Hua. She's like an expert when it comes to technician endorsement and definitely somebody I would advise uh, checking it, uh, checking out her videos and information about this is an absolute gem of a person. And why am I talking about this guys? Well, the reason is quite simple. I mean, uh, you know, there's been like a very, very bad news in 2022 for tech and cybersecurity professionals. We had massive layoffs and we found out that the tech industry is not immune to recession, you know, and there was a lot of hiring happening in 2020, but now that's grinding to a halt. And that's bad enough. I mean, losing your job is bad enough, of course, right? That's uh, never a good thing. But if you're on a sponsored work visa, like the skilled worker visa, or I don't know, the global talent visa, then you are use, at risk of using your job and the life you have built due to no fault of your own. I mean, there were thousands and thousands of people recently who got laid off in the US over an H1B visa, okay? The entire life which they probably spent so many years building all turned upside down, which is a very tragic thing. I was in the UAE. And I used to know so many people who would be there for like 20 years, 25 years, if they would lose their job and they did not have some sort of an option there, they would suddenly find themselves in serious problems because of this. So this is the reason I'm mentioning this. And so uh, what else is this? And the tech layoffs, which they started in 2022, right? They are not gonna stop, unfortunately. The recession is still here, the inflation is still happening. And a lot of people, unfortunately, uh, what has been said that, yeah, it's going to continue on in, into the coming year. So that's why we have to be more careful. Okay. And like you can see some of this, that it is expected, unfortunately, a lot of companies, big, big tech companies, tech and cybersecurity used to be very secure. But unfortunately, uh, the trend has changed a little bit. So, of course, uh, I have already made videos about this, how to keep yourself upskilling. I've made many, many videos on this channel, the type of skills you should learn, the things you should learn. But I want to, because I'm originally from Pakistan, a lot of people who come to me, they're from India or some other third world country, and they really appreciate the life they get. But I want to make sure that you're secure in this life. You know, you have something which doesn't go away if you lose your job. Like I said, this is what happened to the H1B workers. You can just check it out on Google and Forbes. So many people who were living there for many, many, many years. They've built their lives there. They've built mortgages. Their children are in school. They bought houses. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, due to no fault of their own, their entire life gets turned upside down. They have like 60 days to find a new job. This, this is not just with the H1B in the US. I don't want you to think I'm biased. This could happen in the UK also with the skilled worker visa. In the Middle East also, many times I've seen people losing their work visa and their entire life gets turned upside down. So that's the reason I wanted to talk about the global talent visa. So what is the UK global talent visa? Well, this is a special visa. The thing about this visa is it, it's attached to you, which means you don't need a job offer, okay? You do not need somebody to sponsor you because it's your own visa, visa. And there are no age or language requirements, okay? And you can switch jobs easily because like I said, it's your visa, you don't need anybody to sponsor you. And the best thing is if you're, if you're endorsed under exceptional talent, so you can apply for indefinite leave to remain, which is like the permanent residency for the UK or like the green card of the UK, you can think about it. Just after three years, you can get this. So it's a very, very powerful visa. The best thing about this, if even if you lose your job, you can still stay in the country and find another job. You can start your own company. This is in contrast with the other visas, right? Which is linked with your employment. And if you lose your job or your employment, you get a grace period after you much, must exit the country. 
So it's a very, I mean, losing your job is bad enough, but then on top of that, you have this whole issue happening. So that's the reason I always recommend people to try for the UK Global Talent Visa. Okay, you might be thinking, why the UK? What's the big deal? There's like bad news about recession and all that other things. And that's a good point, actually. Despite all the gloom, the UK is still home to the third most valuable tech economy in the world after, I believe, the US and China. As per the latest technician report, you can download though yourself. There are over 125 plus like uh, tech unicorns in the UK. These companies are valued over $1 billion, okay? And they represent like a total value of around 500, $542 billion. So the UK in the last couple of years, it's positioned itself as a tech leader and the global meeting place for diverse talent and significant investment. Okay. I know this because I've been here for the since 2021 and I just, uh, it's the tech industry here in London and Manchester is absolutely crazy. Okay. The right now they're just under 5 million people working in UK tech startups and scale-ups, which has increased from 3 million in 2019. And this number you can see is just going up and up and up with the jobs and the amount of people which are like uh, uh, coming to the UK to work in the tech industry. And you can see here the UK tech ecosystem value. Okay. And this is in billions. You can, I would advise you to go, just go to Google, type in the Tech Nation Visa Report 2022, uh, just to get an idea of just how good the UK tech economy is. Even in times of recession, I'm still seeing so many jobs coming up. So many big companies are here. So it's a great opportunity. Okay. And how to apply? Okay. If you're convinced, now you think, okay, this visa looks good. This looks interesting. What do I do? Well, it's a two-step process. The visa requirements can be a bit overwhelming when you first read about them. So, but uh, like, so basically it's a two-step process. You start, you need to get endorsement first from Tech Nation. They're going to look at your application and they're going to see whether you are like uh, qualified for the UK Global Talent Visa. I've made a complete video, like video on this and I'll link it here. Okay, you can take a look at that also. But basically this is the hard part. You need to convince Tech Nation that you're qualified to get this visa, okay? And if you endorse, you need to apply for the visa within three months. The second part, you need to apply for the actual visa. That's more of a formality because once you've gotten endorsed, usually, I mean, people get it unless you have some sort of a, I don't know, you've gotten some security issue, some security concern on your passport. You, then you might get rejected during the security clearance. But apart from that, usually the first part, which is the endorsement, that is the difficult part. So this is how it works, guys. I would recommend definitely... If you're trying to secure your migration journey, if you're on a worker visa, please do look into this visa. That will really help you, if, especially if you're in tech or cybersecurity. Technician is, they've been designed to bring people over to the UK. Okay. And take a look at that. There are many, many consultants available. I have my own program. I don't want to plug it in here, but why not? I thought I'll tell you and I'll link it below also. So I have my own course and coaching on this. I've coached multiple people on how to get the UK Global Talent Visa and trying to help them out. You don't have to go with this. You can go with any other consultant also, but do take a look at it. Do take a, and really secure your journey, your own journey, your job's journey, your family's future when it comes to immigrating to another country. I hope that was useful to you guys. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. If you have any queries about the UK Global Talent Visa, you can mention in the comment section and I'll try to answer them to the best I can. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next